สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. I am in Bangkok, Thailand, in my parents' beautiful backyard. And usually, when I'm in Thailand, I share with you delicious foods in restaurants or in the market. But there is one other place that's full of delicious food that is often overlooked, and that is the super. Market. Thai supermarkets are a great place to grab snacks for your road trip or for your hotel room. But with thousands and thousands of options on the shelves, it might be a little hard to know which is worth trying. So to help you with that, I have selected seven items that I think you should try when you are here. I made sure that these items meet three different criteria. One, they have to be delicious. Otherwise. Why would we bother? And two, they must be available at any major supermarkets in Thailand, so that no matter where you are in the country, you should be able to find them. And finally, three, they must not be easy to make at home, which makes them even more important that you try them now while you can. All right, let's get started. So the first thing to try is one of my absolute favorite savory snacks, and that is khao tang mu yong or rice crackers with pork floss. So khao tang is rice crackers, and mu yong is pork floss. We call it pork floss, but basically it's Chinese-style dried shredded pork. This stuff is addictive. Oh, look at that! And they come in a few different flavors, but this is the classic. Ah. So so crunchy, look at that! It's just so satisfying. It's such an airy crunch, and the pork adds a umami. It's a little sweet. This one also has some nori in it, which I love. This is actually my new favorite one. Check this out. Oh yes! If you are a nori fan, this one is for you. Hmm. Doesn't have to be this brand. There are many, many brands out there. Sometimes it comes in a clear package, but look for rice crackers with pork floss. You will not go wrong. If you love to snack on dried fruit, this next one is for you: dried bananas, and not any dried bananas, dried Thai bananas. And when we dry bananas, we use a variety called g l u i n a m w a which are the short, fat bananas that I use for my fried bananas, and we usually use it for cooking. And it's so sweet and so fruity; it's really very different. From the regular banana that you have, and when you dry it, you sun dry it. They don't need to add any sugar at all, and the natural sugar just becomes this natural glaze. It becomes what I call banana fudge. Mmm, it's like chewy, sweet, but it's got a fruitiness to it. There is a tartness in there. So satisfying to chew. It's quite sweet. So usually one of these, and I'm good. Great plain snacks, and you can find this basically anywhere, any supermarkets in Thailand. This next one is for all you cookie monsters out there. I'm definitely one of them. I love cookies. These are t o n g m u n or coconut roll cookies. Yeah. Now these are light and delicate. They're not hard to make, but it requires a A special press, a special griddle, so that kind of falls into my category of not easy to make at home because it requires a different um, equipment. But these are so light and crumb crumbly, kind of like a twill cookie, and it uses coconut milk as the liquid, so it's got that coconut flavor. This one has black sesame seeds, which is pretty common. Just listen to this crunchy flakiness. Mm. And these also come in different flavors. You can get coconut flavor, which is the classic durian flavor if you're a fan, taro flavor, even corn flavor. So lots of options there. And these make great gifts. I often bring these back for the peeps in Canada. Now I don't know about you, but when I'm in a different country, I'm always curious about the different variations of the same thing that I'm familiar with. So for this one, I would like to recommend to you. Some Thai-flavored potato chips. That's right. Now, 
In Thailand, they love coming up with new flavors of Lay's especially. Every time I come here, there's always a new flavor on the shelf and I'm always interested in what they come up with. And trust me, they are very creative. So for example, this one is the one I've never seen before. Hot chili squid flavor. Ooh. And then this one is Mian Kham flavor. Now, if you know Mian Kham, it's, a, it's, a, it's an appetizer made of lots of different ingredients, coconut, peanut, ginger, lime, wrapped in wild beetle leaves. I have a recipe for it. And there's a Lay's flavor of that. It always kind of freaks me out how, how closely they can capture the iconic flavor of the food. I definitely get get glimpses of Mian Kham. If I didn't know this was Mian Kham flavor, I might be like, oh, that tastes so familiar, but I don't quite know what it is. But if you tell me it's Mian Kham, I'm like, oh yeah, that I, I definitely taste that. Let me see. And by the way, in Asia, we like to make potato chips uh, seafood flavor. So it's shrimp flavor, squid flavored, fish, fish flavored. Oh, this one looks good. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's definitely squiddy taste of dried squid with sweet chili sauce. They managed to get that grilled flavor in there too, like that grilled squid flavor. That's amazing. Let me know what kind of lace flavor that's unique to your country that you think is really cool, really interesting, or really good. Share with me in the comments. This next one may not be for everybody, but if you are a durian lover, it is for you. And if you are a curious, adventurous eater, it is also for you. So this is durian fudge. I like to call things fudge because, you know, some things are just so fudgy. And this is definitely one of them. This is basically durian meat that's been cooked and concentrated down into a fudgy paste. I would consider this candy and it always comes in this log shaped packaging all you have to do to eat it is untie this little thing this part here may not look the most appetizing but you just kind of like squeeze out a little chunk and it'll come right up <laughs> yes i know it looks a little weird <laughs> but look at this look at this a fudgy paste and interestingly the durian flavor is not as strong in here as it is in the fresh one mm. i don't know what it is about it but man and it's just got a mild durian flavor has a texture of like really soft caramel yeah maybe think of it as durian soft caramel Definitely very interesting, nothing like it, so give it a go. Thailand is known for peanuts, right? We use peanuts a lot in our cuisine, but what some of you may not know is that we also turn peanuts into really delicious snacks. This is peanut, it's a classic brand of peanut snacks that I grew up with. It's older than me by gosh know how many years. And there are many flavors, but today I'm gonna recommend to you chicken flavor. That's right, chicken flavored peanut. You heard me right. And as weird as it sounds, it is so good. And it comes in this can and it is the most addictive thing. Like I have such a hard time stopping eating these. So it is kind of dangerous. Um, I can actually get this in Canada at the Thai grocery store. And I gave this to Adam and he just about went mad for them. Look, and they're peanuts coated in sort of a thin flour coating. And it, it's like so umami intense. And in Thai, we would describe it as man. I have such a hard time translating that word into English, but it's, it's such a man food to have. It's like yum, 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 yum. You, can't, you just can't stop. So give it a go. You can find this anywhere, even at the 7-Eleven. Lastly, it is another classic snack I grew up with, and that is squiddy. Yes, you may notice that we like squid here in Thailand. Now this is baked crispy squid. It is not cheap, okay, because it's like concentrated squid. Squiddy actually has two types of, of squid. One is dried and sort of rolled flat 
kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like squid jerky. Okay, squid jerky is the word. But then this variety, they bake it so it's crunchy and this is what I always go for. So addictive. It's crunchy, but as you start to chew it, it becomes a little chewy, so you get, you really get to, you know, to munch on it. A little touch of spicy, a little sweet. Hashtag not sponsored by Squiddy or anything else that I've talked about today. And I've got an eighth bonus one. Yay, that's a little treat for all of you who stayed to the end. Now this one, I made it a bonus because it meets two of the three criteria. And the one that it doesn't meet is that it's not available yet in all major supermarkets in Bangkok. I'm talking about banana chips, but not just any regular banana chips. These are banana chip sandwich with a tamarind filling. That's right, check this out. It's like a healthier version of Oreo, but so much more satisfying. I'm not even kidding you. It's so, so good. At first when I saw it, I was like, that's weird. And I ate it and I was like, that's good. Mm. And it makes such great gifts too. That tamarind filling is a little tart, sweet, but it's got a chew. So you've got the crunchy banana chips and it's not hard. You know, some banana chips can be hard. This is crunchy and airy. And then you get chewy, tamarind and the combination is just deadly in a good way and that is it for today i hope that next time you come to thailand you make a stop at your local supermarket and you will be glad you did and if you've got other suggestions other things that you think should be added to my list let me know in the comments you can even share photos of said items on facebook twitter or instagram i'm on all of those things and if you haven't subscribed to the show please do so right here i'll put the button somewhere and i will see you next time for your next delicious time